Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, the president-elect, will not take oath on the Quran or Bible. He will be doing so on the God of iron provided by worshippers of it. They said this is the only way to curb misappropriation, corruption, nepotism, and any form of wickedness that you can think of. Bola Ahmed Tinumbu will not take oath on the Quran. He will be doing this on the God of Iron during his swearing on May 29th, 2023. Adherents of the traditional religion have called on the Nigerian government to adopt Ogun, the God of Iron, to swear in all elective and appointed office orders instead of the tradition of using the Bible and the Quran. According to them, this will curb the misappropriation of public funds as it is believed that the God of Iron's wrath comes swiftly. No mercy, no pity. This comes as Nigerian prepares for May 29th inauguration day when the president-elect Bola Tenumbu, vice president-elect Kashim Shetima, governors-elect and others will be sworn into office. They made this call during a press conference held at Osemeji Temple in Ibadan, Oyo State, to announce the 2023 World Annual Ifa Festival. In their words, they said, We have contributed and are still contributing to the development of our nation. The problem we are facing in Nigeria is our people at the helm of affairs because they are not honest. And that's what is affecting us. Jagumolu Awagbaye Dr. Fayemi Fakayode said, If we can decide to be swearing in political office holders, either elective or appointed officers, in traditional ways or through the God of Iron, things will be better. And they will stop embezzling our money because they know the immediate consequence of their action. Even in the judiciary, the judges too will give fair hearing and judgment. They urge the federal, state, local governments to give them the same honor accorded Muslims and Christians, arguing that as adherents of traditional religion, they are entitled to all the things the other two religions enjoy in Nigeria. Others who spoke included the Araba, Agbaye, His Eminence, Awodotun, Aworeni, Araba, Olu Isheshe, and many others. They all sought for the same thing. Let them swear on gods. Let them swear on the God of iron. This is the only way Nigeria will function as it should. According to them, they said the Bible and the Quran does not judge nobody. They said the Bible and the Quran and whatever it is, aside God of iron, Amadioha, and the rest of them, they said none of this will put them right. The only thing or the only God that they can take oath upon, swear on, is what they have. And if Nigeria agrees to this, this will be the beginning of change. This will put an end to criminality in government, looting. They said even judges will be sworn in on this. They will give fair hearing. They will not misbehave because spirits are ready for judgment to strike whoever goes against what he or she swore to uphold. Now the question is this, since Nigeria is a country where freedom of religion is exercised and practiced, at least to some level point in the south, not in the north, anyone who believes in whatever they believe in will ask for that to take an oath upon. Bola Metunubu cannot be first to take an oath on Ogun, if publicly he is not a worshipper of Ogun, if secretly he is, if he is not a worshipper of Amadioha, if secretly he is, publicly if he is not, he will not ask for Amadioha for him to swear upon. Not possible. He will not. 
at all at all not possible he will ask for what he believes in the religion that he practices as a muslim he will simply ask for the quran as a christian if he was he will simply ask for the bible i have not seen any public office holder regardless of their public or secret affiliation that has sought for traditional or gods or idols for them to swear upon i have never seen i have never seen till date no public office holder in nigeria has ever swore on any of this deity they would never we've not seen it at all at all even though majority of them they profess to be christians or muslims but behind the scene 90 percent of their belief and trust and practices are either one deity or the other in fact some go as far as india to seek for deities to give them power over contenders to give them power over opposition to protect them and of course if someone is to go to india to seek for a deity that requires blood or some other forms of appeasement you know what it is how can that state be in peace definitely things will be done in an upside down manner because the spirit or the deity will be in control will be in charge and a deity that requires blood i don't think we want to put any state or any country in the right direction that's just the truth so majority of them are involved in this but they will not swear upon it they will never have themselves in that position where they will have a covenant with any of these deity because they know that this deity most of the times do not forgive forgiveness is not in their you know domain they do not operate with forgiveness that does not mean that they cannot find another way to appease or to you know turn but it is always difficult it's not an easy thing but when you swear on the Quran, on the Bible, you can do an undo because the judgment of God, according to Christians, the judgment of God can be slow but swift. If it comes, it grinds. It leaves no remnant. But it can be slow. It can be very slow. God is slow to anger. It doesn't just strike like that. That is the reason why people will opt for the Quran or for the Bible to swear upon. And moreover, swearing on the Bible and the Quran does not necessarily mean that that Bible or that Quran is really, you know, it could be anything. Who knows? Well, this is what is being asked of Bola Mechunubu. What are your thoughts? Do you agree to this? Drop your comment, like and share, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.